Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to install or reinstall system software on your Xbox One console using official instructions. It doesn't require any scripts or a third-party software, all you need is a USB flash drive and 20 minutes of your time. This method also comes in handy for replacing your Xbox hard drive or upgrading to an SSD. I have a video on that, I'll put the link at the end of this video. So if your Xbox boots into this error screen, this usually means that the system software has been corrupted or lost. In case if your console boots into its normal state, but you still want to reinstall its operating system, then you have to completely power off your console. Then press and hold the pair and eject buttons, and then press the Xbox button. Keep holding down the keys until you hear a second power-up tone. First try to hard reset your console. If it doesn't work, or maybe you've just replaced your hard drive or SSD, then you have to download and install Xbox operating system. So let's get started. Open the Xbox support page, the link in the description, and simply follow these very simple instructions. It's a little bit more complicated for Xbox One, because you have to download and install two update files, but for all other Xbox One consoles it's pretty straightforward process. Next, you have to download System Update OS U1. It's a 5GB file, so you'll need minimum 8GB USB drive, which you have to format into NTFS file system. Then go to your Downloads and extract files from the archive. Open OSU1 folder and copy system update folder to the root directory of your flash drive. Now turn on your console and using the D-pad and A button select troubleshoot. Then plug the flash drive into the USB port. And as you can see, the offline system update option became active. Select it and press the A button. This process will take you about 10 minutes. And that's it. Just follow the on-screen instructions to finish setting up your device. Select your language, location, your network, and sign in with your Microsoft account. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple and straightforward process. The only thing I want to point out is that if your console was upgraded to a hard drive larger than 2TB, then you won't be able to use the full capacity of your drive. So, I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.